Ectodermal dysplasia. Definition. A group of systemic conditions that are congenital and are all caused by errors of or in the ectoderm and the tissues it gives rise to. Each condition can have multiple forms of presentation. Cl characteristic clinical findings. Clinical symptoms. Discoloring of the skin, overheating due to lack of sweat glands, and difficulty eating due to missing dentition or a cleft palate. Clinical signs. Errors in skeletal development or a lack of exocrine glands or conical or peg-shaped teeth. Here you can see the peg-shaped teeth down at the bottom. Demographics. There's an incidence of 7 in 10,000 births, more common in Caucasian and fair-skinned people, but are found in almost every race. There's an equal split between the sexes. Radiographic findings. Location. Ectodermal dysplasia is generalized in the oral cavity. Both the maxilla and the mandible can have oligodontia or complete anodontia. Cleft palate or lip can be observed as more of a localized presentation in the anterior maxilla. Edge. The radiographic presentation can include cleft palate, conical or peg-shaped teeth, and hypodontia, which all present with a well-defined edge. Shape. The shape varies with specific presentation, but conical and peg-shaped teeth appear with their defined shape. Retained primary teeth in the absence of the permanent dentition can be observed. The mandible and maxilla should both present with relatively normal bone density, even if some form of hypodontia or cleft palate is present. Internal. The cleft lip and or palate will present with a radiolucent internal structure. Anodontia or oligodontia will have radiopacity consistent with regular alveolar bone. Other. Teeth can be displaced in both cleft palate or lip and in hypodontia. The discontinuous nature of the bone in cleft palate or lip displaces the teeth of the maxilla. Most commonly, the lateral incisors are displaced in the maxilla. In either oligodontia or anodontia, the absence of teeth allows for drifting and displacement of teeth, generally in a mesial direction. Number. The number can vary depending on the presentation of the disease. Most often, multiple teeth are missing, and sometimes all of them. The presentation of the cleft lip or palate can be either unilateral or bilateral. Size. The cleft palate or lip range are typically a couple of centimeters in size. In hypodontia, the size of the missing teeth vary based upon the teeth missing and whether they are primary or permanent dentition. Hypodontia generally presents without lesions of any kind, just fewer teeth in the normal alveolar bone. Here, once again, you can see on the top picture the conical-shaped teeth and in the bottom picture, you can see the conical shaped teeth and the hypodontia radiographically. Differential diagnosis. <clears throat> Down syndrome. Tardontism, cleft lip or palate, hypodontia, enamel hypocalcification, and hypoplasia may occur with Down syndrome. This is differentiated from ectodermal dysplasia by karyotyping. Ameliogenesis imperfecta. Tordontism and enamel hypocalcification may be present in ectodermal dysplasia, but other ectoderm-derived structures must be affected. Ellis van Creveld syndrome. Considered in cases with cleft lip or palate, peg-shaped teeth, and hypodontia, but also presents with polydactyly and mutations in the EVC and EVC2 genes. To the right is a picture of an individual suffering from ameliogenesis imperfecta. Treatment. A plastic surgeon may be consulted to address saddle nose, low set ears, and periorbital wrinkled skin. A dermatologist can be consulted to manage hyohydrosis and skin infections due to lack of glandular secretions. A dentist is responsible for addressing conical teeth and enamel hypoplasia by extraction, crowning, or utilization of these teeth as abutments or support for prostheses. A prosthodontist may be consulted for fabrication of implant-supported prostheses 
to address hypo or anodontia. Oral surgeons may be consulted for the placement of implants. An, or or an orthodontist may be consulted to address misaligned teeth. In all cases, early treatment is important to ensure proper sagittal and vertical development of the face and skull. In summary, the characteristic clinical findings of ectodermal dysplasia are hypohydrosis, hypotrichosis, frontal bossing, sunken cheeks, saddle nose, thick, everted lips, wrinkled, hyperpigmented periorbital skin, and low set ears. Radiographic findings. The radiographic presentation can include cleft palate, conical teeth, and hypodontia. The summary of best treatment options. The best treatment for edentulous individuals with ectodermal dysplasia is the utilization of implants for retained overdentures. Patients must be treated based on their individual presentation and complications of ectodermal dysplasia. The image shown is another radiographic image of an individual with conical shaped teeth and hypodontia. These are the references. This is the list of image credits for the images used in this presentation.